Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add copyright friendly images to your digital poster. First thing you'll want to do is go to your Google Drive, open up that folder where you have the poster, and now you're ready to add your images. You can add images within Google Drawings by choosing Insert Image and then choosing Search the Web. So I'll go ahead and type in Orca because that's one of my animals, and I'll look for an image to add. When you find the image you want to add, you can select it and choose insert or double click to add it. To resize it, you go from a corner towards the center. You want to avoid making them larger because you will lose quality and you need room to add other animals and information. So you'll make it about roughly this size to add the other images and information. You can also get copyright friendly images by going to Google and typing in the animal's name. So I'll do polar bear, choose images, you then choose tools, and then in this case, go to size and choose medium, and then you want to choose usage rights and choose labeled for reuse with modification because you might add a border around it or change the shape which is modifying the image. Do make sure the image is of good quality before adding it to your poster. If not, find another image. Because this image is of good quality, I will right click and choose copy. I will return to my poster and do control V, the shortcut for paste. If you want to crop, you choose the crop tool then you come along to the side and when it is a straight arrow, you can drag it and then hit enter. And then of course you would resize it and make it roughly the same size as the other image. You could also go to Pixabay, which is a fantastic copyright friendly image source where they don't require you to give credit. I usually give credit, however. So I will go ahead and type in my next animal, which is a tiger. And then I'm going to look for a tiger image where they're not in a zoo. I prefer to have them in the wild when I represent them on my poster. This one looks like it's in the wild, so I'll grab it. I will right click and choose copy, return to the poster, and control V for paste, and then of course resize it. I need room for my content for the next video. As you can see, it's much easier just to insert image and search the web within the poster. So I found a cute image, I will double click on it, and I now have my images for my poster. If you want to add shapes around the images, you would select the image, go to the drop down arrow of mask image at the top, choose shapes, and then select a shape. You can choose to have the same shape around all the images in order to have consistency with design. However, it's not critical because you will be encouraged to have repetition for everything else on this poster. This concludes the session on how to add images to your digital poster. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.